Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another session of Chit Chat with Andy Winfrey. Me! Today, we have invited three special guests from Super Duper Corporation, and they would like to share with us their, some of their secrets of entering the Chinese market. So, Claire, please share with us your secret to the success in entering the cosmetic Chinese market. Okay, well, um, there's actually not much of secret to that. We focus on two parts, which is the promotion strategy and also to meet the needs of the locals over there, the Chinese. So what we did was we opened up a research center at China Dome that actually developed technology and also doing on research on the Chinese hair and skin, you know, see what, kind of, what, types, what type of uh, the skin and hair is. And from there, we start develop new products that can meet So you are saying that you are in a way localizing your product yeah. to meet the Chinese market needs? Yes, true. Because uh, unlike the Western, their hair and skin texture is different from the Chinese. Interesting, yeah. interesting. Okay. So we have to do research on that to differentiate the those needs. Yeah. And we have research... Next, we will move to Miss Eva. She is one of Super Duper's corporation top game developer and she will share some of the secret with us how she entered the Chinese market. Hi everyone, I'm um, just uh, one of our game for Ninja as an, as an example. Uh, we have developed a Chinese person for this game. Uh, how, how we done that? Uh, for example, we have team with a uh, Chinese zodiac background and also uh, the Chinese uh, landscape background for this person. Uh, especially, we add more, we added more uh, Chinese special uh, fruit, for example, the peach, and more uh, Chinese restaurant uh, to attract the Chinese user in China market. And this has successfully uh, increased our user base by 20% in China market. Oh, that's interesting. So you, uh, the background, for example, it could be like bamboo shoes. Oh, yeah. So are you planning to put in background like there is a panda? Yes, yeah, we have uh, put more effort on uh, to develop a different different kind of background to uh, attract more users. To attract the users. So with your current strategy of implementing uh, the background in the zodiac the Chinese team, it has actually increased your market share by about to twenty the user the user base by twenty percent. Yeah, yeah? Uh, that, that's something very very good. For your opinions and successful strategy. Uh, we'll take a short break. When we return, we will see what Mr. Small has to say. Short break to leave. Caught me by surprise. Last guest, Mr. Smile, is also here to share with us his secret of entering the Chinese food and beverages industry. Uh, let's hear what he has to say of his success. Okay, basically, uh, what we do is uh, we change our menu to suit the local market because China has their own uh, Chinese design, and if we want to enter the market, there are those uh, China design is mainly our main competitor and we have to uh, localize our product uh, to suit the different taste of the market. Uh, very, very well. So, your, today your company here is to tell the audience out there that your secret is to actually localize the product, is it? Yes, even, even we, are, we are expanding in different market like in India, we also localize our product in India our, our uh, kitchen is separated into two, uh, one is for non-vegetarian and one is for vegetarian. And, and in, in India, we do not uh, sell any egg inside the McDonald's product. Oh, okay. So, you think that uh, by localizing your product, you can capture a bigger market share and also yielding a high, higher profit, is it, from that company? Thank you, uh, Mr. Smile, for sharing with us some of your 
strategies of entering the Chinese market. Do you guys have anything else would you like to share with the audience? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure, sure, yeah, go sure. ahead. Um, I think it's in, uh, I would like to add on something for the audience to know as well. Um, besides doing product localization, we have incorporated some localization strategy into our marketing um, activities. What we have done was um, we actually hired the local celebrities in China, those the famous ones such as um, Zhang Ziyi, Gong Li, and from that it will actually attract more of the Chinese people over there to buy our product. And from there we witnessed that our sales actually went up. So you're saying that when you uh, have the local celebrity endorsement, mm -hmm. so you actually can, you know, it actually plays a part where the Chinese consumers actually mm -hmm. trust your, what you call it, your cosmetic brand more than your competitors. Yeah, sure, yeah. Thank you for attending my session today. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, that's all folks. As you can see, Super Duper Corporation has been a very good example in explaining how a multinational corporation can think global and act local while localizing their products. That's all the time we have today, folks. Uh, see you next session on Chit Chat with Andy Winfrey, and we'll see you next.